Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to discuss an important topic related to network security. We'll be talking about whether it's possible to obtain passwords of users connected to the same router, the notorious man in the middle attack, and how to protect yourself from such attacks. We'll also explore the practical side by demonstrating the usage of the EtherCap graphical tool in Kali Linux. So, let's dive in. Many people wonder if it's possible to acquire the passwords of users connected to the same router. The short answer is yes, it's possible, but it's not as straightforward as it might seem. To do so, an attacker would need to perform a man-in-the-middle attack. The man-in-the-middle attack is a technique where an attacker intercepts communication between two parties without their knowledge. By doing so, the attacker can eavesdrop, modify, or even inject their own content into the communication. This attack can be especially dangerous on unsecured networks. Now, let's explore the practical side of things. I use GNS3 to create a virtual network and connect virtual machines. I place the Ubuntu machine with XBWA as a web server in an isolated subnet, while the Windows 10 machine and Kali Linux are connected to another subnet. This simulates a realistic situation where an attacker tries to interfere between a victim and a server. Now, the next step to launch our attack is to connect to the web server by typing its IP address, followed by the XVWA server domain name. We'll use the EtherCap graphical tool in Kali Linux, which allows us to perform the man-in-the-middle attack using ARP poisoning. Here are the steps involved. Scan the network. Start by scanning the network to identify the hosts and their IP addresses. Choose the host. Select the target host whose communication you want to intercept. Start the attack, initiate the ARP poisoning attack, which tricks the target host into sending its traffic through your machine. Intercepting credentials, as the target host connects to a web server, EtherCap will display the ID and password used, enabling the attacker to obtain sensitive information. ARP poisoning, also known as address resolution protocol poisoning or ARP spoofing, is a network attack technique used to intercept and manipulate network traffic between devices. It exploits the way devices identify each other on a local area network, LAN, using the address resolution protocol. In a typical network communication scenario, when a device wants to send data to another device, it needs to know the media access control, MAC, address of the destination device. The MAC address is a unique identifier assigned to each network interface card NICI, of a device. However, devices primarily communicate using IP addresses, which are logical addresses. So, they use ARP to translate an IP address to a corresponding MAC address. When a device wants to send data to a specific IP address, it sends an ARP request broadcast message to the network asking, who has this IP address? Please tell me your MAC address. The device with the corresponding IP address then responds with an ARP reply containing its MAC address. 
In ARP poisoning, an attacker on the same network sends fake ARP replies, claiming to have the MAC address associated with a specific IP address. This manipulation tricks other devices on the network into updating their ARP caches with incorrect MAC address information. As a result, when a device wants to send data to the targeted IP address, it sends it to the attacker's MAC address instead. Once the attacker successfully redirects network traffic to their own machine, they can eavesdrop on the communication, modify data, or launch further attacks, such as man-in-the-middle attacks. The attacker can intercept sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers, or login credentials. ARP poisoning can be performed for various reasons, including network reconnaissance, unauthorized access, data theft, or network disruption. It is often used in conjunction with other attacks to gain unauthorized access to a network or compromise its security. To protect against ARP poisoning attacks, network administrators can implement several security measures. These include using network monitoring tools to detect abnormal ARP behavior, configuring network devices to prevent ARP spoofing, and implementing secure protocols like Secure ARP, SARP, or ARP inspection. Additionally, using encryption and strong authentication methods can help safeguard sensitive data transmitted over the network. Now that we understand how this attack works, it's crucial to know how to protect ourselves. Here are a few measures you can take. Use secure protocols. Whenever possible, utilize secure protocols like HTTPS instead of unencrypted HTTP. Avoid unsecured networks. Be cautious when connecting to public Wi-Fi networks that may not be secure. Keep software up to date. Regularly update your operating system, applications, and network firmware to patch any vulnerabilities. Implement encryption, set up a VPN, virtual private network, to encrypt your internet traffic and protect your data. Use strong, unique passwords, ensure you have strong and unique passwords for all your accounts to minimize the impact of a potential breach. That's it for today's video. We've covered the possibility of obtaining passwords on the same router, explained the man-in-the-middle attack, demonstrated the usage of EtherCap, and provided tips on protecting yourself from such attacks. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to staying safe online. Stay informed, take necessary precautions, and keep your digital life secure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and happy browsing. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and we'll see you in the next video.